What do you like now? Like, I want to I want to be I want it's fine to say today that God is not the life why chasing those things? What the actual thing is to the At what cost do you find the price that is going to cost you? At what cost am I going to put this out this year? Everything we do, all our costs, we can do. Americans today, compared to 60 years ago, own flight. They did not have as much progression, meaning that as they are there, but does that mean they didn't have yet? No. Our entire economic system has generated to be only things that we don't really need. It doesn't matter just by the I think it seems that the new civilization now is that no matter what happens, we will continue to buy a lot of material things. Buy things to impress or to impress those people in our neighborhood because they must accept that we are right. We no longer think about saving, we no longer think about creating, we no longer think about producing, or some of us think about these things just by. And we confess this to with our grandparents. That they've actually grown with much more happiness, but slightly less happiness. And I am in great risk of depression and other social pathology. Ask the president of them. Ask the president of them. They will tell me this. There is a research about the effects of marginality on our well being. Stop with that. The more people place premium or important or material things, the more we less our well-being tends to increase. So we consider we take back the pride by material things, the life by the shelter. Conversely, we place less important or material things, our well-being tends to improve. And when you look at the materialists, psychologists categorize them as type A personality. Someone that is materialistic, after present, like a guy, it needs a confirmation because they lack, there is something that they lack. Things like uh, self worth. You always need security, personal security that you need to connect to others. So when you find someone that is realistic, they always need information from others. For instance, a guy gives something to 
go to school. You go to the hero, text and go pick up the cell, or her cell. So I'm not getting satisfied. You walk up to people and you leave them. Not get them. And the rest of them go pick up. Did you the show? That's my business. So you can say, let's carry it to the group of them. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Meaning, they need the confirmation from people before they can actually believe what they are. And when you look at the social angle of our background, you discover that it has actually pointed our sense of national economy. People don't get clear about what it means to have a sense of leadership. And that we care about the future of our children. All the work now is to grab it, fight it, give it to them, right now. And when you talk to the person, when do you have decided to key into this problem? What is the problem? Anything that wealth or time people are uh, evidence of success. They find good leaders, people that are under 50 years old, claiming to be good leaders. That's not an evidence of success. In fact, that's an epitome of failed society. However, in a world like ours, that is being distributed by tyranny, I want to ask, how do you decide success is happening if we do have an interesting way to compete? That will actually bring us back to the structuralism. Imagine the system of transformation. But then, we should always remember that that should not be our guiding force in the definition of our success. How do you define that? Materialism is only viewed as something that is very negative. Something that is very shallow to buy. And something that lacks negative value. For instance, we find students today who used to be the higher education, but now really degenerated to secondary school, and so on. People go to the instructors and pay class classes instead of pay. The instructors encourage this by accepting the money from the students. So the essence of learning will be negated because of material desire. Everybody is preoccupied, most people are preoccupied with what they can get at the bottom. So the teacher, the instructor, or the student would rather be the first thing that And you want to see the effect of the medicine on our culture and our society? Take a look around, look at our room, look at our school system. You will see materialism and blame. I used to have a school friend. We have a big who is doing good job. It's not for you guys. Not to buy anything. But guess what? God can protect the money we got on. So that brings us to the alien of the depth of the process. It depends how we view ourselves in the context of those around us. That finds some success. The next problem is about uh, the risks in the front kingdom. As we study, because this is the kind of advice to us, the people are going to tell you, we are going to make it if we do it differently. So we want to change the narrative of the other department. So this fraud started, yes, and people were saying, Hey, hey, we're never going to make it. 
a lot of faults were falling by the wayside. And there's one, there was this persistent one. It kept climbing, it kept climbing. And at the end of the day, he made it to the top. And others were surprised and came to me. Oh, why did you do this? He asked a lot of questions. He did not respond. At that point, he discovered that the problem was actually not there. So, today, turn your deaf ears to those that you decide to distract you. That I think that I think that you can never make it to your own path. Thank you that wealth can actually add happiness to your life if all basic needs are met. In this Scandinavia, they keep producing the world's happiest people over and over again. But they never produce the world's happiest also, we always go out to do people's success to copy or emulate. Once you do that, you're bound to be frustrated because you're planning the wrong that. It's not just about this easy. The question is, what are you busy about? Are you planting it in the right mouth? Or are you going to get to the top and discover that the mountain is a far away? Think about it. We are in a stage in our country where we need honest reflection. We have to ask ourselves. Where will be going there? <coughs> Did we actually work out? We have to have those things. Because believing that materiality is evidence of success is part of the narrative that we must change. Because it's a education and education. We just have to do everything. Our culture does not install materiality. Rather, it goes hard work. No wonder you have to be like, I run now, yeah, I can't get there, you don't know. So, as we did today, I want every one of us to have in the back of your mind that most of the things that we're doing today need to be changed. And we take the need to do it the same thing over and over again and expect to have a great result. There is a Chinese proverb that says that the best time to plant a tree was last week, but the second best time is today. So I encourage everyone of us to step out of this room today and start planting of success. This is when you define success in terms of yourself, it makes you successful and a better than you.